Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am back with another amazing interview question. So this question was given by one of the channel subscriber. He mailed me the DDL and everything and I said okay I will make a video. So question is simple but the solution is little tricky. So we have this store. So if you see this is a store table and for each store we have quarter wise sales. Now the thing is each store remains closed for one of the quarter for maintenance. Okay. So for example store S1. It is it is open on Q1, Q2, Q4. So Q3 is missing. Right. Similarly for S2, Q2 is missing and for S3, Q4 is missing. So basically for each store we have to find the missing quarter. That is the simple question. Right. Fine. So there will be three rows for each store with the quarter where there was a maintenance or store was not open. Right. So you try yourself first. I will put in the description box the DDLs and I will solve it using three methods today. First one is like a tricky one. Just a aggregation. Second one using recursive CT and third one using a cross join. So watch all three methods. It will help you understand SQL better. Okay, so let's start. So what I'm going to do. See. One, two, three, four. If we sum all three select one plus two plus three plus four. Right. How much it will be? It will be 10. Right. So total should be 10 always. And whatever is missing. If I do 10 minus submission of other quarters, I will get the missing quarter. Right. So let me do it quickly. So by store. Okay. And here I will take a store from a I will take the right character, right one character, one, two, four, I want just right. So I will say right, right of quarter. From right, it will give me, it will give me one character, one, two, four. Okay. So let me run this and show you how it is working. So it is giving me one, two, four, one, three, right. And now what I have to do, I am doing group by this and I will do sum of this right once i get some of this okay let me show you what will happen so i got i need to cast it it as integer right because this is a string column when i take right it is a string column i will just cast it as int okay and now we can aggregate it right and i will do 10 minus so I got missing is uh, quarter. So for S1 missing is third for S2 2 4. Now what I can do if I want to add Q in this I can just say Q plus and I need to cast it as vertical back because that's how we, I can concatenate two strings. So let me cast it. as L2 okay. and that's it uh, there is some problem okay store is not stored fine so I got quarter which is missing I hope this was clear very very uh, simple solution right let me move on to method 2 This is using recursive CT. Okay, I have created another video of recursive CT. You can check it. I will tag it here. How to use it. Okay. And I will solve this question using recursive CT. So what I will do, I will get all the combinations of store and quarter. Right. So for each store, I want four, four rows. And then I can join with this data and get what is missing. Right. So let me put it as with CTS. Select distinct store from stores. This will give me all the distinct stores. Also, what I'm going to do, I will take a one as quarter. Q number, let's say. Okay. So you have to understand how the cursive CT works. So watch that video. So this is my first element. 
driving element and then i will do union all union all what i have to do select store comma two underscore number plus one from s q number from c t okay where q underscore number i will just show you what is happening here okay and i will say select star from c t okay just see what is what has happened so for each store if you see now we have all the combinations you see for s1 we have four record i will just sort it by store order by store right so for each store i get all the quarters right and in my table i can just look at it which quarter is not there and i will get the answer right so what i can do i will create another city with q as here i will just add the quarter number right store comma uh, i will take q plus cast q underscore number as cal 1 okay so if i run this let me run this first okay i got the quarters so uh, comma this is second city qs this and now what i'm going to do select from q left join stores right on i will name it as s q dot store equal to s dot store right and q dot q number equal to as dot quarter okay okay now if i run this um, there is a syntax as a select okay what we have to select select star so i got all the records right because i have all the combinations here and left join with store table so whatever quarter is missing for that i am getting null value here right right so what i can do where i will just say where from the right table as dot any column i can take and say it is null store is null right and in the star i will just say q dot star i don't have anything so we got three records again s1 q3 s2 q2 and s3 q4 i hope this is clear and the third solution is very simple i will just copy this okay. and what i am going to do using cross join instead of ct i will use cross join to get the all the combination so i will say select from stores s1 i am taking to stores i have created a video on this also on cross join i will tag it watch it please and i will say s1 dot store comma s2 dot quarter right and will do distinct so i will get all the combinations again right i got all the combinations now i already have q1 q2 here so i don't need this one right i'll just remove it and i will say ct form ct okay s i will just name it as s so i don't have to do it again and again and instead of this just i have to put quarter 
right and uh, q dot what is q here q is this one okay i think we are done that's it i didn't do much instead of recursive join i am just using this distinct clause join to get all the different combinations so if i run this i got the output again i hope all these three methods are clear let me know if you have any other method and comment in the comment box thanks for watching do like the video and subscribe to the channel